What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are doing something I did not expect to do. To be honest with you guys, I'm currently sitting in our 328 daily that I've been working so hard to make it look fresh. And the thing is with me, I always end up selling cars that I make look good. I don't know. I can't keep a nice car for myself. But at the end of the day, do not worry. I have such a business oriented mind where it's like anytime that I have something that has a sense of value and I can make money, I go ahead and take the initiative. It's just like what I do. And I feel like end of the day, you know, I have to live my life and I'm happy with my life and uh, you know I think I feel for me I'm making the right decision and uh, that's why I I'm trying to explain myself because this next decision a lot of you guys are gonna be like nor what is going on with you so long story short this 328 actually is gonna be going up for sale pretty soon I'm just gonna get a matching black interior and then this car is literally hundred percent complete with a full black interior M Sport 328 clean title and we wrapped the whole exterior as well now obviously underneath the paint is not good the paint is like terrible on this car so it's gonna have a markdown I'm gonna be listing all that stuff on the offer up and Facebook ad uh, but yeah the car that we're gonna go get is a car that I actually purchased from auction and it didn't work out that gives you guys a huge 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 guess um, because yeah I really wanted this car to work out with this current economy literally owning a gas vehicle is just it's making it harder and harder every single day i feel like having a gas weekend car is nothing wrong with that i want to have a supercar i want to have my e91 m3 i want to have those cars that i enjoy on the weekends or drive out for joy rides but for running errands i do feel like at this point in our lives an electric car may be the way to go so that being said we are heading out to the dealership to uh put a little bit of money like i'm talking a few thousand dollars nothing even crazy on a down payment on a car with a super low monthly payment i think it's i think it's gonna be worth it i'll show you guys once we actually get there first things first and hopefully the last time i have to fill up gas into a daily um is the gas station we have to go to the gas station and that's the, you know that's what sucks is that if you had an electric car um for a daily you could just charge it for heading out of the house you know i'm trying to justify my actions and uh don't hate me but there's a saying if you don't adapt you'll die it's it, it is what it is my point exactly we got some gas, guys. We got some drinks. Let's head down to BMW of Fairfield. All right, guys, so we just pulled up to Fairfield BMW. Let's go ahead, go in there, see if we can actually get this car. If we can get this car, everything's gonna be pretty dang amazing. If not, we're gonna go out here and uh, be depresso. But uh, we'll keep you guys posted. I don't wanna film just yet, just in case it makes anyone uncomfortable. Let's just go ahead and see it, get the car if we can. We'll set it up and uh, talk about it. mile range we got we got the gas motor we got the electric motor for the price i think we won guys we got the black on black interior i'll show you guys more of this stuff when we get home but for a daily i think i think it's time i think it's time we join the electric life
guys, we are officially back with a fresh new cut as well. Thank the Lord, because I really, honestly, I really need it. It looked like I had a mop on my head. But anyways, guys, we've officially picked ourselves up an i3. I've been wanting an i3 for a minute now. I know I'm a car enthusiast. I'm pretty sure you guys know I'm a car enthusiast. I mean, I'm building an E91 M3 for God's sake. But I mean, for some reason, I always come back to the i3. I don't know why, but with fuel costs being literally $7, like literally went to the fuel pump next to me, it was $7. Costco right now is $6.10. That is insane. So with gas prices being this high, honestly, I don't even really want to daily drive a gasoline car. I know if I go to other states like Texas, I think it's like right now 450 right now, which is still kind of crazy, but it's not as crazy as California. Like if I was in Texas, I'd probably still drive a gasoline car. It's not really the end of the world. But when gas prices are almost hitting $10 a gallon, guys, if you don't get an electric car now here in California, I don't think you'll be able to down the road when gas actually hits $10 and everyone's just going to be screwed and everyone's going to be overpaying for electric cars. Something that you guys don't know, I actually put a pre-order on a Tesla um, about eight months ago and they actually called me in. They were like, hey, your, your vehicle has arrived, um, yada, 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 because a new Tesla was cheaper than a used Tesla. And a uh, long story short, with the down payment amount, it, I would have had to put like $10,000 down. Um, it was like $56,000 out the door. And then your monthly payment was like $705 for 72 months. I was like, oh, that's kind of crazy if you think about it for, for a Tesla. I mean, if you guys know the build quality on a Tesla, it's not that great. I love Tesla. I, my dad actually has a Tesla. I've driven it. It feels amazing. It honestly, the technology is really advanced. Um, 260 mile range. Like it's pretty amazing um, when it comes to that stuff. But for me, I'm all about build quality. And uh, for those of you guys who has ever checked the panel gaps on a Tesla, um, I mean, it's pretty much like a McLaren. If you guys ever checked the McLaren gaps, long story short, I'm not going to bash on McLaren and Tesla right now, but I'm, I'm a BMW boy. End of the uh, heart and soul. End of the day, I'm a BMW boy. And that's the reason we ended up picking up this i3. For those of you guys who don't know and that are new to the channel, I actually picked up an i3 um, like a couple months ago through Copart. Ended up being a complete screw over because I ended up having frame damage. For those of you guys who don't know, this car right here um, has a carbon fiber tub. So the frame is literally carbon fiber and uh, the rest of it is like aluminum, which is literally supercar quality. Now the interior finish, unfortunately, is recycled stuff. I mean, it literally BMW literally said that this car was made out of recycled, um, um, I, I don't know, like it's a recycled vehicle. And to be honest with you guys, when someone is spending with this car brand new being fifty, sixty thousand dollars when somebody's spending fifty, sixty thousand dollars, no one wants to know that your car is made out of garbage, <laughs> like straight up. But for me, obviously, I did not pick it up anywhere near that price. This one in particular has a hundred thousand miles. I ended up picking up from BMW. This is the range extender model 2017, which has the medium sized battery with like 120 mile range. And then it also has the engine, which gives you another like 60 to 70 miles. So in total, I get about 200 mile range on this car. When you're using the engine, you get about 50 MPG. And when you're using the electricity, obviously you have 120 mile range. I think that's really, really, really cool. And I like the fact how I actually have gasoline and electricity. If I'm trying to go somewhere that's 300 miles away, I can use as much electricity as possible and then just keep hitting the gas stations and I'll actually make it there. Like it's not the end of the world. While if you actually have a full blown electric car and then when Biden's like, hey man, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off electric cars, um, you'd be kind of screwed. I mean, if especially, especially if you have another power shortage down the road. So long story short, this thing is pretty much future proof. We got gas, we got electric, we should be graving the Navy fuel economy. We're definitely gonna be saving a lot of money on this bad boy. I literally put only $5,000 down on this car and my monthly payment's like 200 something. So um, I think it's definitely way better in terms of a, a financial investment compared to a Tesla right now for me. But if I had the money, honestly, I'd rather go for a Tesla just because, I mean, they're pretty cool. I don't wanna drag out this video any longer than it needs to be. But yes, your boy officially joined the electric world. Um, obviously, your boy still wants a V10 R8. Your boy's still building an E91 M3. But end of the day, like, let's be realistic, guys. You can't escape cost of reality and that's why I got this bad boy and hopefully I'll be able to uh, sustain my life and sustain my bills and be able to still build amazing things instead of throwing that money in the garbage literally every single time I leave the house it's been insane but anyways guys now this is my new daily driver um, this daily driver I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the interior I just need to put full black interior put black seat belts in this car and then this thing is ready to go I'm gonna be putting this bad boy up for sale pretty soon here now for any of you guys that are actually interested in this 320 it is a M Sport factory M Sport um, clean title, 160,000 miles on it. I'm almost done with the full black conversion as black headliner. It has shadow line package, has Logic 7 sound system. That sounds pretty good. And also has keyless entry. So it's got a lot of nice little goodies for a daily driver. And that's actually the reason why I picked up this bad boy. The original color is like that rare blue. Um, but unfortunately, um, underneath this wrap is, it was really bad paint. So like, I honestly had to sand down a lot of the paint just to get the wrap to look pretty decent on the car. For any of you guys who end up buying this car, just know that the paint underneath, you do not want to unwrap it unless you want to repaint 
paint the entire car. That's completely up to you. If you want to spend $2,000 or $3,000 on a paint job, that is up to you completely. But for me, um, honestly, I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> but honestly, guys, the day that I actually finished the external look of this car, fully wrapping it, was that literally the next day we ended up picking up this car, which kind of sucks. I mean, I honestly can't really hold on to cars that long. This one, since it is finance and since it is electric, I do feel like I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer. I'm actually planning on putting some cool wheels on here, lowering it, possibly getting an Aza steering wheel in this bad boy. Let me know down below. But I actually really want to make this thing kind of cool. The world is going electric. Everyone's going to have electric cars. So I think it'd be kind of cool of an i3 that kind of stands out end of the day. But without further ado, guys, this is going to have to conclude the video. If you guys are like, Norwood, what, what the heck is going on in your mind? Um, smash that like button regardless. I, I mean, the dislike button's not even there anymore. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> Just smash that like button regardless to help the algorithm, the algorithm on YouTube. That would mean the absolute world. And yeah, that's gonna have to conclude the video. Hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna be trying to get the E90 M3 in this garage, possibly try to figure out a way to get it started or just get back to working on the E91 M3 because we have so much to do. So if you guys are excited for the future of this channel and possibly the R8 by the end of this year, make sure to smash the like button, support your boy. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.